Did you know that the city of Vienna in Austria gives more money annually to the Vienna Opera House for their productions than our entire national endowment of the arts provides our entire country? How oh, yeah. oh, wow. To make theater in this country have put skin in the game, right? Theater in the United States, let alone Los Angeles, has become synonymous with struggle and sacrifice. Mm -hmm. I bring this up when presenting a Career Achievement Award, award to my dear friends because it cannot go without saying that tremendous amounts of struggle and sacrifice are at the white hot center of achieving a long and prolific career in the performing arts. There's not one of us who hasn't questioned our sanity <laughs> or remaining dedicated to a venture that has bankrupted many, or at least brought us very close to ruin. <laughs> many times it's not a question of, uh, you know, how, when? When are you going to give up? When are you going to put it all out? Well, we soldier on because we decided long ago who we become doing this crap, how our spirits evolve. That's somehow much more important to us than what we own. If you are a theater creator, if you have ever put your own skin in the game, you will understand the tremendous amounts of energy, interest, dedication, passion, Curiosity, money, sheer stubborn will, and faith that is essential to create even the smallest, tiniest of shows. Jack Stalin and Janine Wisnowski Stalin have been the happy warriors of the 99 seat theater in Los Angeles scene for 25 years. Woo! Since its inception, the New American Theater, which was formerly known as Circus Theatricals, a name bestowed on the company because Jack's a descendant of circus trapeze artists, jugglers, and acrobats. <laughs> Jack and Janine have produced more than 100 productions, premiering near, nearly 30 new plays, a prolific amount of producing and creating by anyone's standards. Besides having been lucky enough to be involved with the duo over the years to create some of my favorite I actually met Jack Stanley in 1994 in a bar in Greenwich Village. I had just graduated NYU, and I found I did, so, uh, and I was bartending in this trendy place, mostly served the fashion industry and celebrities, and uh, it's not a place anybody showed their soft underbelly. But then Jack came in one night and sat at my bar on East Night, and uh, had many beers, uh, many of them free. Uh, and we began a memorable conversation that night about art and life and theater. Those of you who have had the privilege of having a conversation with that man know what I'm talking about. He was transcendent. I mean, here was this guy, and he was doing what I wanted to do, and he's talking to this guy who's a, a nobody, hasn't done anything yet, just freshly minted. You know, he was a New York stage fixture. Dozens of plays at the New York Shakespeare Festival with fellow Juilliard alums Kevin Klein, Val Kilmer, Kevin Spacey, and Mandy Patinkin. He had gone toe to toe with all of them. He had worked with legendary directors like Gene Sachs, Carrie Perloff, Stephen Burkoff, Richard Foreman, Robert Wilson. They all trusted him to bring to life a variety of characters that any actor worth their salt would be envious of. Oh, man. Oh, from time to time, he would understudy for a guy named Al Pacino on Broadway. <laughs> I was in awe of the guy. And yet, this was the most accessible, kind, open, honest, available, and humble human I had ever met. Not long after that night that I met him, Jack had just closed the Scottish play, which he acted in, directed in, and produced. He just closed it and was sitting on the subway, heading home. And the words of his old agent kept ringing in his head, go to L.A., start a film and TV career. His agent was here, actually. Uh, and so, he finally hit it, that what the fuck am I doing moment. And he said, enough, enough with the theater, enough with the suffering. It was time to take his old agent's advice, move to Los Angeles. When he landed, Jack called his old Juilliard friend, John Bonzel, and John was in the movie business, so his first suggestion to Jack was, go to the play room. <laughs> there is something about the theater, right, and theater artists. We get triggered, reading a play, seeing a play, being in a play, basically anything dealing with the theater invites us in and makes us feel at home, no matter where in the world we are. So there he was. And this, the discussion after the reading, Jack, Jack piped up, uh, expressed us some thoughts about what he saw and heard. 
Fifteen minutes later, Jack was invited to be the artistic director of his first Los Angeles equity company, Hanson <laughs> Theater. With the full awareness that he had just sworn off theater to pursue film and TV, Jack took a deep sigh and accepted the position and went the next day to inspect his new workspace. Walking in, that first thing he saw was an enigmatic, multi-talented woman that would change his life forever. There stood the most beautiful and exciting woman I had ever met, Jack said. It was Janine Kaznowski. <laughs> She hailed from Chicago, where she earned her MBA in marketing and a Bachelor of Science in Communication and Advertising from the University of Illinois. No slouch herself, she acted in with the National Shakespeare Conservatory in New York and did comedy in Broadway Second City. Whip smart, beautiful, heart of gold, hilarious, Janine is a wonder and an absolute joy. If Jack's the dreamer and philosopher, Janine is the driver. They balance each other beautifully, and together they make an incredible, dynamic, sturdy, theater-making machine. Janine is like an engine that never quits, never gives up. You can run her on salt water. She is an actor, producer, marketing director, arts advocate, and the chair of the Culver City Cultural Affairs Commission. She literally does it all. Needless to say, they are now married, and alongside their prolific and epic amount of creation by anyone's standards, they have three amazing daughters their most prized creations. From that moment back in 1995, Jack and Janine have worked together to build a company. Not just a membership company that makes plays, but a gathering place for working artists to hone their craft, work on new material, and it's the only thing you can do in a room with people you trust. For me, working with Jack and Janine is like working with artistic and spiritual godparents. There is this unconditional love for the artists. They suffer with you. They believe in you, and that truly makes you want to be better, to live up to their belief. Ultimately, they serve not only the theater, they know they are pursuing with you the bigger questions of who and why we are, what our ultimate purpose is as humans and connecting to the spiritual, and quite literally everything. The theater is their church. It's a lovely experience that reminds you why you do the thing you do. They are the actor's friends, they are a Los Angeles theater institution, Jack and Janine are one of you. They understand you. They know how difficult, painful, and beautiful it all is. And with that, it is my distinct honor and privilege to present the Stage Raw Career Achievement Award to Jack Stalin and Janine Wisnowski.
crew and actresses may not do exactly what you want them to do. <laughs>
By the way, there was a young, handsome actor playing my brother in that production. We still refer to each other as brother. His name is Cameron Watson. Who <laughs> later brilliantly directed our production of I Never Sang for My Father. People. So many good people who have helped us along the way. Long time company members and artists. Like that beautiful gang of people sitting right up there. <laughs> and many more. Board members like Ken George, John Bunzel, Dean Nichols, Alfred Molina, and David Trainer. Our long time producing partners at the Odyssey Theater, Ron Saucy and Beth Hogan. Thanks to my in laws, Rosemary and Dennis, they are simply the best. I wish my mom and dad were here. Their support was unflinching, and I owe them so much more than words. Now to the big stuff. I have three very important reasons to keep hope alive. Our wonderful daughters, Olivia, Natalia, and Isabella. I love you so very much. Janine Denise Wisnowski. <laughs> My guiding light. The mother of our children. 